Hi, welcome back to Leading Edge. My name is Tim Schneider and I'm the founding partner of Aegis Learning. And really excited to start this new series on building and developing and maintaining a healthy workplace. But before we get, uh, get to that, a couple of other little side notes. Uh, today you get a uh, terrific double dose. You get this video and an awesome blog post article written by Polly Walker about optimism and the power of optimism and what that brings to the table. In the coming weeks, you'll get to see a three-part series from Teresa Lowry about being an inspirational leader, and those are excellent too. So we're thrilled to bring you uh, multiple facets, multiple kinds of content in Leading Edge. And the other reason that I'm pretty happy to start this series is it marks the last part that we're going to do in my office. Our new studio space is getting prepared and organized for us. And we're also going to uh, come to you with a new uh, video editor and a new team behind that as well. So this series will mark the end of uh, this little humble dig. And uh, you'll also see uh, uh, in the after this series, this is awesome too, after this series, Matt Zobrist is going to take over behind the camera. And he has a series, or developed a great series on mentoring. And I look forward to everybody being able to see that and, and uh, uh, gain some real uh, powerful understanding from that. So as we start talking about a healthy workplace, we'll talk a little bit today about what a healthy workplace is and what a healthy workplace isn't. And there's a couple of things to consider up front. First of all, can you have kind of a toxic po pocket or a bad department in an overall healthy organization? And the answer to that is yes. The other side of that, and this is the side where I'd really challenge you individual leaders, can you have a healthy department, a healthy unit in a kind of a toxic overall organization? And the answer to that is yes as well. Now, in a perfect environment, everything is going to be healthy. Now, the other thing about what healthy is and healthy isn't too that I want to kind of plant with you guys moving forward and tell you what we're going to uh, uh, talk about in, in coming weeks. A healthy workplace isn't some just assembly of random skills that are thrown together. You know, you can't say that this, 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 and y'all do it, and that's a healthy workplace. No, a healthy workplace is a holistic approach that requires training, individual development, it requires some procedural changes, changes in organizational structure, and there's a lot that goes into crafting a healthy workplace. And we've spent, you know, 20 plus years working with some of the best out there and understand these best practices and have documented these best practices pretty successfully. So I want to kind of leave you with this when you think about a healthy workplace. Think about three intersecting circles for just a moment. One of the, I guess if I was really clever, I'd put a graphic up now about it, but uh, first circle would be a circle that has all your skills in it. You know, those could be leadership skills, they could be team skills, they could be technical skills, they could be a variety of things. The other circle, uh, kind of down below that, is your heart, your, you know, your, what you bring to the table for emotional composition and energy and care and those kinds of pieces. And then the third one is the environment that you operate in. That's the healthy workplace dynamic, or in some cases, the not healthy workplace dynamic. The little bit of intersection between these three circles is where real success and harmony really lie. You know, that's a, that's a sweet spot. Jim Collins talked about it and he called it a hedgehog kind of concept. But that little zone right there, that zone of success, is kind of what we're looking for. So we've worked a lot on building skills. We've worked a lot on, you know, kind of unlocking heart and those kinds of things. Now we're going to talk about and spend some time working on that environment or that healthy workplace. In the coming few weeks, we'll tackle this in this kind of order. We'll talk about talent management right out of the gate. You know, getting the right people in, getting the wrong people out. How we treat them, how we deal with them becomes an important part of building a healthy working environment. We'll also talk about things like transparency and some other real critical dynamics that uh, go into building that. So I look forward to working with you in the coming weeks on building a healthy working environment. Have a great week, everybody, and enjoy the blog and article content as well.